And uh, right now, um, I'm joined by Senator Mutula Kilonzo, who was uh, chairing the ad hoc committee to tell us exactly what they have found out concerning the reports they wanted uh, the relevant bodies to provide. Um, what, what is your take on uh, what are the, the, the reports that have been provided before you? Uh, we are extremely disappointed as a Senate uh, that uh, the National Construction Authority and NEMA appear to have taken this matter in a very casual manner. The report that was prepared by the National Construction Authority a day after the incident and the conclusions thereof are extremely pedestrian. And we have told them that as much that we expected them uh, under the law to have taken a little more, or to, uh, to have done a little more objective reporting on a tragedy which caused the loss of 47 Kenyans who were innocently going about their lives. Similar with NEMA, they appear to have issued a, a certain order for an audit which was supposed to be issued on 7th of June and to our surprise the person who was seated here uh, act, acting on behalf of the Director General was not aware whether the report had been issued or whether it came from his office. The audit reports that they had issued on the farm or any other activities have not been given to us uh, and therefore we were disappointed that although they were talking about forensic audits, the National Construction Authority seemed to have forgotten that it is their work to ensure that these things are done. We are to remind them that they should have done a forensic audit on the risk assessments of dams generally, but this particular one, so that we understand as a Senate and as a public what could have been done better. For purposes of a National Environment Management Authority and, and NCA, it, it, they really surprised us to the extent that them, both institutions think and wrongly that since they, were, they came into office way after some of these constructions were done, including dams and buildings, it was outside their mandate to uh, inspect and issue compliance reports. We have reminded them of the law. We have sent them a packing so that they could give us adequate reports. Uh, and we have told them under no circumstances will we accept such inadequate reports that, uh, that appear to casually, casually f um, walk over something that is extremely serious. For example, it is, it is to our consternation that uh, a dam of this magnitude, of carrying so much water on the gradient where it was, was not flagged either by any of the organizations. But even then, they should have given a risk assessment so that in future we know what we want to do as a country. But uh, being the agencies that are tasked with the oversight of construction and environmental degradation, I must say that we were extremely disappointed as a Senate. Uh, from a layman's perspective, uh, looking at the contents of the reports they were presenting before you and the comments that uh, the Senate committee was giving, it looks like um, they were not given adequate time. Did you inform them in good time or when did you inform them that they were supposed to table their reports before you? It's not a question of informing them. Uh, this uh, tragedy happened on 10th of May. It is, a continu it is continuous work for them means that the National Construction Authority was on site on 11th and they prepared what they are calling an interim report. Uh, surprisingly, the pictures were taken by the person who was preparing the report using his phone. But the point is that since they are oversight organizations, whether we give them a day or, or less, they should have come with the reports which concern Solai, because Solai happened on 10th of May. Uh, we gave them adequate notice to appear before us last week. So there's no reason whatsoever why they didn't come with good reports, adequate information, and none of them, in fact, uh, requested for more time when we called them to come and present the reports to us. What happens if they don't beat the deadlines they have set for themselves now? Oh, we will deal with them. Uh, Parliament has got power. We are like a high court. We will, we will deal with them. Uh, but I don't want to make the recommendations of how we'll deal with them. We'll wait for them to fail. And if they fail, we're going to deal with them. We have asked the National Construction Authority to give an undertaking in writing that they will conduct a forensic audit. They don't even need the task force. The law is very clear about their mandate. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh, Senator Mutula Kilonzo chairing the Senate Ad Hoc Committee probing into the Solai Dam catastrophe and uh, what they have uh, gleaned from the relevant bodies today. Back to you. Mark Namaswa, for us there, a story we will continue to follow up on even when uh, these particular authorities